it's been three or four weeks since I uploaded my last video and quite a lot has happened in that time and uh, uh, number one, I think, thing that uh, people will notice is there was uh, quite a spike in uh, subscribers, uh, thanks to uh, Diet's commander, uh, Callum, um, who gave us a fantastic shout out. And I, I really appreciate everyone that has, has come over and, uh, uh, you know, to, to share the sort of the community spirit. And that's really, really what this YouTube thing is all about. I absolutely love it. It's really, really good fun, especially when you get, you know, like uh, myself, where um, I've got access to a few things and every now and again I just like to share um, you know the five minutes that I have with a product you know for instance like this now is has, has come in um, in into uh, to work and I've basically got to sit down and just um, have a little look through it and you know when the customers call maybe I can actually help them you know sort of maybe suss a few things out with the device um, it does mean you kind of speed read through a few documents and stuff. And what I try and kind of do is I bring the product home and I just kind of try and live the, the, the product, um, you know, try and use it, you know, just uh, from from a customer sort of angle. And I'm going to do exactly that now. I've not I don't know anything about this product um, at all. Um, all I know is that Antonio said, you, you know, you really got to have a look at it because he's, he absolutely loves it. Now, the first thing that I'm going to say is that it's slightly different build than the the uh, other um, products in Antonio's lineup, and I'll be honest with you, this is uh, it's quite a big improvement in quality. Um, rounded sort of corners and edges, which is a is a big uh, big plus. Um, the build quality of the box is definitely definitely improved. Um, it's still sort of a folded mild steel sort of uh, product, which is which is fine, um, with an overlaid sort of like sticker on the on the front, um, and he uses the same type of uh, display on um, this as he he did with um, his other products. Um, but this is also you can com you can actually connect this to a PC um, just here. You can, it looks like you've got two antenna ports there. And I will speak to him about what software is available for this because um, I, haven't, um, I haven't seen what software it is that uh, you, you need at the moment for it. Um, don't think it's Bluetooth or anything like that. It's definitely um, on the back here, this is a, uh, a bootloader switch where you can actually set the switch. Um, to upload firmware and stuff like that and uh, from time to time um, Metro Power do release uh, firmware um, it's got an SD card in here as well um, not sure why that is there maybe it's for recording some of the the data um, if that's the case that's a nice touch because uh, you know you should be able to record if you've got sort of um, some readings from this you can record it to sort of like a file or something like that I'm fairly convinced it will do that so let's turn it on and have a have a quick look. Okay, so let me see, make sure you can see that. Um, okay, so it brings you into a fairly sort of um, basic looking menu, which is which is quite nice. It's very very simple and easy to understand. You've got some setup functions here now. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail on this because um, I've not actually seen any advanced manual for this yet. Um, which I'm going to have a quick look. I just wanted to sort of see the product and get a first impression from it. Um, and yeah, so there's some things in there I don't understand straight away. Calibration is calibration. You're probably going to need sort of three loads on that. Normally you have an open, a short, and then a 50 ohm sort of thing. And uh, it looks like there's some hardware and some software calibration available there. It's also got DSP function, whatever that does. Um, again, I don't know. Um, I will speak to um, I will speak to Antonio and just see what the intended use or function of this is, um, and colours I should imagine just for setting the uh, the display sort of colours and stuff like that. And you've also in there you've got beep on and beep off, so it stops that or beep. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, so that's the setup um, area. Um, let's go over to analyse. So you've got a graph function that's pretty much speaks for itself. Um, this would give you your, 
your sort of uh, your your SWR range, which is uh, which is quite nice, and and your Zs and God knows what else. Um, and then you can set the um, looks like you can set the how do you set the well, you can actually set a scan up. Okay, all right. So that that will scan the frequency. You can also enter a keyboard um, frequency in there. So here we can pick off of there. So we can say two meters. And this is now checking the SWR for two meters. So let's come out of that. Um, and what else can we do? Meter. All right. Okay. This is quite nice. This is a Smith chart. If you're not familiar with Smith charts, there's actually a really good. Uh, I think I did a video actually on. Um, I'm not sure actually if it was a video or whether I did a little guide, a walkthrough guide, where um, it, it, I took you to a, a document that was just um, really, really informative about these. Absolutely um, fantastic. Um, they, they they look quite scary, but they're actually fairly, you know, once you understand what they what they do, it's actually quite a good way of of uh, you know sort of uh, consuming the data. Um, this is quite an interesting function, I believe. Now, what you can do with this is you can click on those. Let's just say, for instance, you've got something like a DX Commander antenna, and it's got, say, four or six bands. So you can put in your four main bands in there. So let's just say we'll have um, we'll have 40 meters okay, in one, and we'll have 20 meters in another and in there. And say we'll have, um, I don't know, yeah, we'll, we'll no, we won't have eighty. We'll have, we'll have, um, what's that? It? We'll have seventeen meters in there, like so. Um, and you can keep adding those, so you can add up to five by the looks of it. And then it will give you your little readouts on each one of those bands. So that's really nice. So you can, you know, if you were a, um, if you were like sort of portable or something like that, and you've got like a six band antenna. That, or a five band or a four band and then you can actually just throw it up and then actually see at a glance just you know what what uh, what is tuned to and that's quite a nice touch um one thing i'm getting from this i mean this has still got the protective screen on it um and it's the screen's quite you know quite accurate and it's not too it's not too jabby you don't have to jab it too much um what else so we've got an easy mode there all right okay so that there is obviously just an SWR bar. Now I've got a dummy load here actually. I could put in there. Um, there you go, look. Um, and once the SWR is good, then it goes green and it gives you your little readout at the top there. Um, looks like you can set a tone. Oh, okay. That's quite interesting as well. So if it goes really high, you know that's bad. <laughs> I'm not sure um, how useful that is. Maybe it's uh, maybe actually it's useful for um, for visually impaired. Maybe that would be uh, quite a nice touch. But you still got to get to this um, this sort of menu um, menu screen somehow. That's quite interesting. Um, that's pretty much the main functions. I'm going to have a bit more of a look at it. Um, I think uh, next week. I mean, I've actually got a couple of weeks off actually, um, which is quite nice. I'm going to try and do a bit more um, video. I've got some other things on the go here as well, um, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, so yeah, so that that is the FX700. A very very quick look at it, um, and he does ship it with a manual, or I say a manual. It's like a just a one sheet wonder. If I can get it up the right way. All right, okay. So here he's got on the back. You've got these little, um, um, like little barcode things, um, and um, you can get drivers, firmware, and the manual um, there as well. Um, that's quite nice. So maybe the software's there. That would be uh, quite handy. The manual itself is pretty, is pretty basic, um, and yeah that's that bit what else is on the table to have a look at well i've got here in this box of joy and um, let's get rid of that for a second um in here i don't know if you can see that um, 
yeah, just about. Um, don't really see in there, right? Yeah, this is um, a U bit X um, four band HF transceiver. So this is kind of a project which I've got on the go, um, and I'm going to have a little little play with that and see if I can get that to go. Um, I did get some success with this in the end um, as well. This is my um, SI5351 um, VFO um, and that works really well in the end. Um, so it did, oh, it did uh, function and if I, and again this is actually what this has got in it as well. This is an SI5351. Um, except, except the, the software is a little bit better done. My software is not so clever, but you can see, you know, it now functions as it should, and it is pretty accurate actually. I was very impressed. On the back here, you've got three outputs. Um, you can see that. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really handy, really good. Um, some of you guys did actually put some comments on uh, on the. Uh, on, on the video when I when I had some issues with this um, I've still got issues with it and I what I'm gonna do is um, I had so many goes and stabs at, um, at trying to get the software to work I've now got quite a considerable number of um, some broken and uh, some working um, uh, sketches so what I'm gonna do is I'll I'll pick um, I will uh, try and find the one that worked and then uh, put a link to it in uh, one of the descriptions. So if you guys have got any ideas what's going on um, with this, with it's jumping around and locking up, then um, then happy days. I'll, I'll, I'll gladly accept uh, uh, any advice and help on that because uh, I am certainly no programmer when it comes to this. This is this nearly broke my head. Um, right there you go. So. That's that. The good news is that the um, Ubit X um, Rad Radino or Radino or whatever it's called um, works a treat. So um, I'm hoping that I don't have to do very much with that. Um, what else? Um, I've been playing with the um, the Sun SDR um, DX Pro DX, um, and what a bit of kit that is. Flipping heck, um, I'm just so smitten with that, that device, um, I mean I think it's uh, 2000, 2099 quid, something like that, um, that's really it's quite a nice product, I think it's quite a lot of, um, lot of radio for that, it's 100 watts, the only drag I think with it is it does give you two, two meters, but it's only about eight eight watts um, and I couldn't get it to go much more than about four or five I don't think um, but there again I might have a bit of an issue with my antenna I've there's something going on up up on the roof there I've, I've got to pull it down I think I might have uh, something going on with the coax um, the SWR is good but the it just doesn't seem to be working properly so I've got to have a little look um, so that will give me something to do this uh, over this coming uh, couple of weeks. I've actually got some time off. Um, what else is there? Um, oh, so I saw a quick gander at this. Um, this is the new SDR Play DX. And I can get it out of its box. Now they've sent me this one um, to to try um, and have a little play with um, but I did notice that you know online there's just so many videos at the moment with uh, lots and lots of people doing uh, doing stuff on this um, I've not had it all that long to be honest and I mean I've had it about I think a week or so um, but it's a bit like reinventing the wheel so there's nothing really new to do there so what I'm kind of going to try and do is I'm going to try and do something different with it I think um, so I'll try and do some demonstrations of the, the software because um, this has been um, a unique um, 
well it's not saying unique it's definitely an improvement on the um, on the RSP2 um, and there's also some big advantages with this middle range device over its um, you know uh, smallest sort of sibling and um, its uh, biggest uh, sibling so this has got some advantages I think below 500 megs um, uh, sorry 500 kilohertz and um, it's also got some um, other advantages now where they've changed now these ports they now go full range and um, right the way up from you know right from 1.1 kilohertz right the way up to I think uh, 2 gigs and the same with this this is the high Z out, uh, input this used to be a green block if you remember and they've now changed this to a BNC connector so that's uh, that's also a big um, a big change um, what else um, there's not very much well there is there's tons and tons of things actually zoom products have brought out a load of stuff um, there's now a duplex radio which um, that we have in stock now at work um, and I'm just at the moment I'm, I'm trying to find time it's at the moment we've got the hog roast thing tomorrow so if you guys if you see this this evening um, I'm going to try and get it up um, now um, if you're coming to the hog roast tomorrow please uh, do say hi um, it's always good to see um, everyone um, yeah um, I think that's pretty much it um, if you want to see, actually, I was saying about the Zoom, Zoom Spot things. Yeah, there's a, he's got a duplex radio board, a, a dual band radio board now, and there's a, an, e, an Ethernet, uh, sorry, an, yeah, an Ethernet port Ambi board now. Um, and there are some other things as well. What else has he got there? Can't remember. Oh, there's a big radio board thing as well. Um, again, uh, there's lots and lots of new stuff coming out for that. And I've actually already been playing with the Raspberry Pi image for the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, I think I said on another video that I had some issues with it. It was getting so hot. But um, now Raspberry, the Raspberry Pi Foundation have now released more and more firmware updates. And they think they've actually shaved off a couple of watts off of the... Um, the heat generated by that processor so that might be uh, also good um, I think that's pretty much it I think uh, I think that's enough to be getting off I don't want to bore you, you guys to, to tears but do have a look at the um, this thing um, if you see it uh, in the store if you see it if you see me tomorrow and you fancy having a look do say um, and I'll, I'll show you it working um, and um, yeah, it is a really, really neat bit of kit. I absolutely love Metro Power, and as I say, I've, uh, I, you know, I, I've become friends with with Antonio, and uh, really, really good. Okay, thanks guys for uh, watching, and um, yeah, and for the new subscribers, a huge thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that. I'm gonna have a bit of a tidy up in in here as well over the over the next week or so absolutely like a bomb hit it and um, for those of you that don't know um i'm actually working in the house and i've kind of been pushed into uh, into one room and uh, it is definitely cozy and i don't have um the luxury of a garage or anything like that um or uh, an outside workshop and yeah it's definitely it's definitely cozy so I've got plenty of decorating to do as well. So um, I know I have to live, really, to do. Right, okay, lovely. Look, thanks um, again for watching, and uh, I'll see you very soon. <laughs>